Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Yeah, we're back at the trailer. We just removed this. What I'm going to do is uh, down here, I'm going to install this old um, Victron BMV 702 battery monitor. That's this one here. There's its shunt over here and I'm going to try this Bluetooth dongle now a lot of people oh although you can't know such thing as a Bluetooth dongle um, here it is by the way I hope you can read that what's that say VE direct Bluetooth smart dongle now this is for the older units that don't have that aren't smart and don't have the Bluetooth built in um, I'm not sure if it'll work off the BMV 702 that I'm going to install here. Oh, get the light right so you can see. Um, but we're going to give it a go. And for those people that last time I was talking about this dongle swore black and blue and called me an idiot because there was no such thing. Uh, there it is, as you can see, it is a Victron en Energy Donk product. It's meant to work with their gear, so if you've got the older charge controllers or um, battery monitors, hopefully. Well, I don't know if it'll work on a battery monitor, we're going to see. Alright, well, that's what I'm up to, uh, because I want to test this split cell technology panel is a 315 watt split cell okay split cell split panel against a 315 watt standard mono panel uh, we won't be doing that today today all I'm going to be doing is installing the uh, Victron BMV 702 into my camper trailer um, and that's it okay that's what I'm up to peoples I'm gonna find a spot to put it down there somewhere okay so there it is installed the meter we put it back there we can get it reach it from the front if need be um, but we've got it on the computer just let me Use my thumb on this for a second. There we go. Uh, Bluetooth. Okay, so if we put a load on, um, let's turn one of these fridges on. There we go, it's got one fridge on. Okay, that's minus 3.3 amps an hour, or 40 watts, 39 watts. It's getting better as the motor goes on. All right. So this is just for these when I'm starting to do this test. Let's. You can see look, it's gone down to 2.9 now. 37 watts. These new angle fridges are good. This one's um, this 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 one was the top of the range one. Well, they they both are. Let's turn this one on. Okay, so we got two on now. We got the fridge and the freezer on. So that's a total of 70 liters. They're 35 liters each. That's 70 litres of uh, cooling, well one's a freezer and one's a fridge, so 70 watts. Um, so I'll be able to look at the loads and the input from the panel um, 
from the charge controller it's the uh, it's not turned on yet because the panel's not in the sun that's another test another day but that's the install it wasn't hard um, yeah I could have mounted the the, the, the the monitor all the way over here but there's no point I won't be touching it because I do everything with the um, iPad it's all remote control it's dropped down to 5.1 amp for two units and at doing that continuous use it's got 20 hours and one minute time remaining 19 hours it'll work itself out and the battery temperatures at 23 C all right I'll turn these all off now so I'll be able to also uh, those volts will go slowly back up sorry for moving the the uh, stuff around but I've only got two hands um, so if I want to measure what the solar panel on the car is doing after the car batteries are charged um, I can see what that's inputting without and then I can test the main solar panel and any other solar panel I hook up as well that's the main reason for doing this because I've got some testing to do all right If I'd have thought about it, I could have done it the other day when I had everything out. But the dongle's sitting over there in the corner. Okay. All working absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, they do make a 7012 now, which is basically a 702, but with a built-in dongle. Um, and it's roughly $100 more. So I'll use what I got. Since I already had the dongle and everything. Only bad thing about that now is that it is going to continuously use a few milliamps out of the batteries, um, which won't be a, a, a too much of a problem. It's just that every now and then I'll have to um, plug the car in so the front solar panel can charge everything up. All right, YouTube, so there's the install of the uh, BMV 702 again. It looks pretty good over there. You know, it's not in, in the way. It's not going to be bumped. Um, all the cables are out of the way. Like I say, I, I could have done it neater with, a, with a, um, a junction box, but I didn't have one. Um, next time I've got everything out, I'll make sure I've got a junction box here. I'll... I'll probably go inside and order one so it all gets done next time I take everything out for cleaning all right just got to put the kitchen back together put all my tools away and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed that little video basically it was all done so I could test these uh, new split cell split split panel um, designs I think they'll be really, really good on camper trailers and caravans. I think they would also be really good if your house was shaded. But what we'll do is um, I've got some good weather coming without any clouds later on in the week. We'll take the uh, trailer down the back and uh, get some testing done. Like I say, I've got a 315 watt monocrystalline standard panel, same voltage and everything. And then I've got this split phase split cell panel. Um, so we'll do some shading experiments and uh, see which one's best for shade. All right, keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.